Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys yet again why Evelyn is the most broken jungler in the game. I'm not going to explain the build part because it's the same as last time. You skip out your boots and you just go for these five items straight. No boots whatsoever. Quickly explaining why. Lich Bane gives you 5% movement speed and Infinity Orb gives you 5% movement speed. You don't need boots. Let's just immediately get into the gameplay. So, before actually fully getting into the gameplay i have a pretty exciting announcement um even though i made a pretty sad announcement a couple days ago but i'm quickly gonna pause the this announcement i made a separate channel and i'm starting a podcast with a friend of mine here it is i will put like when this video is up i will have uploaded my first episode on this podcast channel so i'll put a link to it in the description the very first episode of course, is about Wild Rift. Me and my friend sat down and I shared everything. It's basically like the long version of the video that I made the other day about everything that went down with Wild Rift. Keep in mind, I've been very close with Riot and I've seen it all. I've literally got, I literally went to Singapore and casted the finals. Uh, sorry, I casted Worlds. I have seen it all. So in that video, I, you know, I talked about what everything that's wrong with Wild Rift, everything that's great about Wild Rift, the future of Wild Rift, and everything, basically. So if you want to check that out, link in the description. And honestly, even if you don't want to check that out, it's a new project of me that I'm starting. I'm very passionate about it. I I'm not going to stop with this channel. Like, don't worry about anything of that. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm going to make videos here still. But if you guys want to, you know, check out the channel, drop a like there, drop a comment there. And if you, you know, if you really want to support me, just watch those videos all the way. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy them a lot. Like, it's, the, I believe this is like a one hour podcast. Yeah, it's, it's like a one hour podcast. And we're going to do more podcasts in the future that have nothing to do with Wild Rift. So, if, you, if you're not only watching my YouTube videos for the Wild Rift content, but also enjoy me speaking, then definitely check out the podcast channel. Like, I'm sure you guys are going to love it. And... It's just a new project that I'm starting, because why the hell not, right? I have to do some other stuff. So, let's talk about this game. My Yasuo was AFK for like, I think like three minutes this game. It's pretty crazy, like, not gonna lie. And he was AFK after that as well. I think he had some problems with his internet or something. But yeah, let's talk about Evelyn. So, Evelyn is like still the most broken jungler in the game, in my opinion. Like, the most broken. Always when I play Evelyn, I can carry those games so easily. Like... There are, there are some exceptions when I cannot carry the game. If I get too behind, or if the enemy is simply just too tanky and my team is not doing anything. But otherwise, you can pretty much always carry the game on Evelyn. Always. It's crazy how stupid this champion is. And there are multiple reasons for that. So right now, you know, Evelyn level 4 is really not strong. Like, this is really not strong at all. I could flash, but it's not worth it. Because I'm alone, I'm not gonna kill her. But... This champion is stupid, and the moment it's already starts to get stupid is level 5. Like, level 5 is already where you start to become strong. Um, and after that, it only becomes exponentially stronger. It's absolutely crazy. So normally, I wouldn't even gank, to be honest, like this. But um, with the new jungle changes, you're not going to be level 5, unfortunately. Even if you do a full jungle clear. Um, you're only going to get level 5 after the scuttle crap and after you hold jungle clear. I'm not even sure if you get level 5, by the way. I'm, I think you get, like, just below level 5, and you need to wait a few seconds, and then you'll be level 5. I feel like it's something like that. This should be a free kill. Just third ability, smite. Third ability, smite. Smite? I can ult. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It's a nice kill. I ulted there, because if he actually hit his abilities, he could heal up and, you know, kill my set and make it really troubling for me. So, that's why I just used my ult like that. So with Evelyn, whenever you reach level 5, you really have to look for a gank. Like, that is the moment you can basically get a free kill. No remake. I'm playing Evelyn. Why would I remake? There's no reason to. Please don't remake. There's no reason to remake when I'm playing Evelyn. Um, yeah, you can gank at level 5. And then after those, after the first gank, just farm. Like, that's all you have to do with Evelyn. Just gank one time. Because when you have your ultimate, it's generally a free kill. If you just play it correctly. And then go back to farming. Farm your entire jungle... And then when you get your ultimate again, you can gank again. That is it with Evelyn. Like, that is early game Evelyn, basically. That is that is how you play Evelyn in the early game. You don't have to force things. Of course, if there is a free gank, I mean, Yasuo is AFK again. But of course, if there is like a free kill, you go for it. But don't try to force ganks. Don't try to force ganks. Like, that's not the way to play Evelyn. Don't try to force them. Just farm. It's okay. Like, here you can clearly see I'm just farming. The only reason I'm going to mid laner is because we have no mid laner. So I'm going to clear out the wave. So at least, you know... 
at least someone is clearing out the wave, as you can see. I'm not getting a lot of gold from it. I'm only getting 40% golden experience. So this is not efficient at all. But someone has to clear the mid lane, right? Like, someone has to do the dirty job. So now, I missed out on my blue buff. I should probably go back, get my Rabadon's death cap, take the blue buff. Oh, actually, what I'm doing here is I'm getting the scuttle crab before going back. Because I saw Lilia coming. So I want to get the scuttle crab really, really fast, if I can. And then I should go back. I should not really get the blue buff now. I should just immediately go back, get my item. Ah, it's looking like a potential gank, though. I do have my ultimate, so maybe I could kill him. I'm waiting. Nah. And see, now I wasted so much time. This is why, like, I honestly should have just gone back. Like, ah. Oh, actually a really beautiful kill. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot how broken Evelyn is. She can just do that. Her ultimate can avoid turret shots, of course. And th again, this is still risky because I have no items. I'm sitting on 3000 gold while the enemy Lilia could be sitting on a whole item. So, you know, she can steal it away from me. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is really not handy, to be honest. But we did it anyways. And I got it. Nice. That's really nice. Somehow I got it. Like... I, somehow I got it, but this was not the right way to do it, to be honest. Like, you can clearly see, look at how little damage I'm doing. Come on. Nice. Just barely getting that kill, because I have zero damage. It's crazy. Look at my gold count. It's just... Yeah, and, and again, like, I'm desperately going to try to take the blue buff. You can clearly see this is not, not good, right? I did end up getting the blue buff, but honestly, this was kind of with luck. Sure, I timed my ability very well, but again, she could have definitely stolen that and made life hell for me. I have to go back. Why am I not going back? Please, there we go. I'm finally going back. With nearly 4,000 gold in my pocket, by the way. Evelyn counters Lilia, by the way. In case you wanted to know. Evelyn counters Lilia. The reason that she counters Lilia is because Lilia is very good due to her movement speed. Right? She can avoid enemies with movement speed. She cannot avoid Evelyn because Evelyn is going to one-shot her. That is the reason why Evelyn is good into Lilia. You, just, you can just assassinate her and one-shot her. So if, if you're ever up against a Lilia... Another champion that's good against Lilia, by the way, is Gragas. Gragas is really, really good. For the same reason, you can just one-shot her. Like, you just go on her. AP Gragas especially, you go on her and you just one-shot her. She can't see me? Ah, never mind. I got hit by... by Lux. I'm not quite strong enough to one-shot him yet. Actually, wait a minute. I could. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Another thing to understand about Evelyn, like, you may be asking, why does she do so much burst damage, you know, with her ultimate? It's not only her ultimate, keep in mind. The enemy is low, you know, her ultimate does bonus damage, but it's her third ability as well. When you hit your third ability on the enemy, the empowered one, you will shred the enemy's magic resist, which means your ultimate is going to do even more damage. If you have an infinity orb as well, you see my point here, it stacks. All of these things stacks. It multiplies all the damage, and that's how you get this insane damage in the later stages of the game. It's really important to hit your third ability. Like, don't just do first ability and ult. Make sure you hit your third ability. Like, that is the number one thing you have to do before your ultimate. Using that third ability every time because of the magic penetration. Boom, boom. See, like, now his magic is penetrated, I will do more damage to him for a few seconds. I can get Lich Bane. That's why I'm going back. This is already my second item seven minutes into the game. Just so you guys know. There's a lot of champions that won't even get a single item, like, you know... Not a lot, but there are some champions and some games where you won't even have your first item at this stage of the game. With this build, because you have no boots, you can get two items very, very early on in the game because of no boots. It's insane. Like, if I had boots right now, I would not have a Lich Bane. And Lich Bane is a game changer. Because your third ability applies on-hit effects, which means it applies the Lich Bane damage, which means it does a lot of damage, you see? I wanted to check whether Lulu was here backporting, but she wasn't. I could use my second ability here. You know why? Because Lux is going to think I'm coming from the other side. But then, boom, I come from this side and she's dead. You see? So let me give you some advice on how to use the second ability. You know, obviously when you use the second ability, the enemy is going to think you're coming from your side. So this is our side. Whenever I use my second ability on the enemies, they're very likely going to run here, here, here. You see, they're going to run towards their base 90% of the times. So if you're behind the enemy and use your second ability, they're going to walk straight into your hands. 90% of the times. 
And if they don't, you know, they're walking towards your side of the map, which is also good for you. They're going to walk into your hands and then boom, you show up and you kill them. They, look, 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 look. He's going to run to that side and he has to flash away. It's fine for me. It's fine. Like he has to... Ooh. The reason that I flashed is because he could have actually flashed cute on me. Uh, used his first ability and flashed on me and killed me. So that's why. But you see, they will always run towards that side. This is super predictable behavior, and it makes sense, because they want to run away, right? So you can utilize this predictable behavior by, by going behind them, right? You can go behind them and kill them for it. Aatrox is not going to be an easy kill, by the way. Like, unless I can one-shot him, I won't be able to kill him. If I don't one-shot Aatrox, he's going to win the fight easily against me, because he heals up. He heals up like crazy. And my first four items have no anti-healing, so I'm not going to be able to deal with him. And I don't want to waste my gold on anti-healing, again, because this build is focused on one-shotting. You don't want to get anti-healing on Evelyn early on, because you're one-shotting the enemy like crazy. You're just going to be focusing their squishies. Essentially, every single fight, you're going to kill off their squishies for free. If you, know, if you play it correctly, you're going to kill them off for free, and it's going to be a 5 versus 4. Every fight. If you do it correctly, I'm saying, you, know, you can mess up, sure. But it's hard to mess up if you just do it correctly. The combo, you know, you be, you're invisible and you just go on them. Third ability, first ability, smite, ult, all of that. You spam your buttons and you just kill them. Lilia's at Lilia's at the Herald, so of course I'm going for the Dragon. Evelyn takes Dragon decently fast with her first ability, so you can just take Dragons, right? You can just take Dragons. I'm just making sure and boom, stay calm and collective. Don't smite like an idiot if the enemy jungler is not around, because very likely they're not gonna outsmite me, right? Unless they have a Jin or something. They're not going to outsmite. So take a look at what happens here. I'm not going in. I'm waiting. And I'm waiting for the perfect moment to go in. And I'm assassinating them. You see? This is why I don't go boots. Because, you know, Lich Bane gives you movement speed. Infinite Top gives you movement speed. But also for this damage. Like, this crazy one-shotting damage. You normally only deal in the late game. But because you don't have boots, you'll deal it in the early game. And you're going to snowball because of it. Like, it snowballs. Because, because you have a lot of damage, you know? You're going to be more able to snowball the game, get kills. And when you're snowballing, of course, you're getting more items, thus making it even easier to continuously snowball the game. It's like, a, you know, it's, it's one plus one is two. Like, you're just really contributing towards the snowball, and it's working. And even if you don't snowball, you just don't need the boots. Because you don't have boots, you're not going to fall behind a lot. It's just always worth it to skip the boots on Evelyn. Always, 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 always. Now she's being a little bit annoying, as you can see, but Yasuo with a beautiful ultimate that stops her. Ooh. Lilia, man. Pretty crazy damage, actually. Like, she did all the damage to three of us. Nearly was able to kill me, even. By the way, for the podcast, like, I'm so excited about it. I'm doing it with a friend of mine, and this friend of mine actually graduated university. Actually, he got his master's degree in computer science. And he's a very, very interesting guy to listen to. So that's why I started it with him. So, you know, we can have two very interesting opinions on, on subjects we're going to talk about. Like, for example, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of future episodes. If you don't care, I am really sorry for wasting your time right here. But I have to talk about it since I know there's a lot of viewers that actually enjoy uh, listening to me. Which I'm very, very happy about. So I'm going to talk about it anyways. You can skip forward like a minute if you don't want to listen to it. Um, we're going to talk about like how AI it's possibly gonna take over the world. How it's already taking over the world, you know, with the AI art and stuff. I just want to interrupt. Here you could see I did not kill Lulu because I didn't use my third ability. You see the massive difference? She was so low and I didn't kill her because I did not use my third ability to shred her magic resist. That was just a quick thing uh, in between. But yeah, what I was saying is we're gonna talk a lot of, about a lot of interesting subjects. And because we probably won't have a lot of viewers, we're gonna be taking suggestions. So if you want to hear me talk about things, you know, maybe you want to hear me talk more about the comparison about Eastern and Western culture or something like that. You know, you can just ask for it. You can put it in the comments in that channel and ask for it. And as I said, like, if you, th those are the best ways to support me, right? Like, if you turn on one of those videos and just listen to them while you're working, while you're chilling, while you're taking a poop at the toilet or something like that, right? It just, I don't know. I, if you just want to check it out, you can check it out. Look at that Lilia damage. What? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I've been playing some quite a lot of Lydia. I have not made a video on her yet because I've not quite mastered her yet. So I actually chose to master her over the quick views. Um, but I'm going to make a video on her soon. I'm going to make a video on her pretty soon. Don't worry. And about the Aurelian Soul video. Someone asked about it in my comments. 
I actually fixed that I was gonna get an Aurelian Soul video from the top one Aurelian Soul player in Europe. But his phone broke down or something. He tells me in DMs, like, he brought his phone to a repair shop, but they're taking really long. And he said that he is going to be able to fix an Aurelian Soul gameplay at some point for me, though. But if he's not going to be able to do it soon, I guess I'm going to have to ask someone else. I am waiting because I really want to get it from the top one Aurelian Soul. Because obviously this guy is the top one Aurelian Soul, right? So it would be a really, really nice video to get a video from him. I'm just taking a turret here. Evelyn takes turrets surprisingly fast, by the way. Especially again, if you don't go boots, because you get a lot of items. Play that damage, by the way, guys. She's gonna catch up to me. Like, she's gonna kill me. I, I knew I could not run away from her, because it's Lilia. Like, that's the thing with Lilia. You're not gonna be able to run away from a Lilia. If you're out of fuel, you know, if you're out of abilities, out of mana, Lilia is just gonna kill you. She's always gonna chase you down. Because of, because of how fast she is. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like as well. And, um... Yeah, Evelyn, so when you reach like late, late game, late, late game with Evelyn, 90% of the cases, it should be a free win. There is literally like no counter to this champion. Well, I'm saying that, you know, of course the enemy could have like a split second stasis or they could like flash split second. But if you play it correctly, it's really going to be a split second. And it's so unbelievably hard to react to these things. Split second. Especially if you're low elo, people are pretty much never going to react. Like low elo, you're always going to get away with Evelyn. If you want to rank up, so if you if you really want to rank up the dirty way in Wild Rift, that's what I like to call it, there are some champions that can let you do that, you know? Number one, Garen. Right, Garen, you can just play Garen, it's pretty broken, and you can carry very, very easy. Number two, Evelyn. Evelyn in the jungle, if you get good at this champ, you can carry every game. Number three, Sona. Sona can absolutely solo carry as well. Uh, solo carry games as well in the jungle. I got that dragon. Look, that's the third dragon, by the way. I just snatched it away. So yeah, Sona at the support role. And in the mid lane, you guessed it, Annie. That is also one of those dirty champions. That is basically always a free win if you're good at these champions. In low elo, like, I could get an account to... I'm pretty sure, like, if I wanted to, I could get an account to challenger, like, insanely fast. Whenever I try to reach challenger, I get it. But I'm, I don't fully maintain challenger because I'm playing champions for the first time in ranked. But don't get me wrong, I still play pretty well on these champions. The reason that I'm getting away with this is because people are so unbelievably bad in Grandmaster now that I can get away with playing champions for the first time in ranked. I didn't used to do that before. Actually, last year, I used to have a smurf. On this smurf, I used to learn the champions before uploading them. So I remember I learned Fiora on that account. I learned Akali on that account. Like Those are the two main champions that are really, really just... Practiced at low elo until I played it on my main account. But now, like, I am, I'm, you know, I could play whatever I want on my main account and I'm still gonna do fine. Not because I'm just a god, you know, I'm good at this game. I'm good. I'm actually really good. But, you know, of course, there are players that are much better than me, the pros. But there is really not a lot of players that are giving me a very hard time in rank, right? So that's why, like, I can get away with playing that. I am, of course, not gonna solo carry every game when I play champions for the first time and stuff like that. But it's good enough to not feed. But that is why I, you know, I don't always maintain challenger rank because I frankly don't care. I would rather make content than, than you know, play the same champions over and over again and maintain challenger. I am playing Jin over and over again though, and I'm winning a lot. But Jin is such a stupid champion; he cannot really carry games. It's, it's annoying. Look at that damage, by the way. It's just this is late game Evelyn. <laughs> it's so funny to do that. It's so so funny. Probably gonna kill all of them here, to be honest. At least one. Like, look, I have my ultimate. I can just go on someone and kill. Let's see who I go for. If anyone gets close, anyone is dead. Doesn't even matter if it's a tank or not. Even Aatrox is probably gonna die to me. So I'm I'm purposely not diving. I just don't want them to know I'm here. The Lux Ludens Echo uh, uh, showed me, by the way. Oh, Yasuo's gonna die. Look at that. that oh... They all died. Two of them died. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you know, if you want to check out the podcast, I just uploaded the podcast on the channel. Let's take a look at how much damage we did in this game, however. I, I promoted it way too much. I'm actually sorry. That was that was a bit too much, to be fair. But yeah, here is the damage. 32.5 thousand damage. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the podcast channel. But otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.